Okay guys, we made it to our North Carolina destination. We have our screen up because we got here a little late. I have my citronella candles on. Next door there's a little family. They have a bonfire which also helps with the bugs on my side. But um, I got a little fan on for Ted because it's a little stuffy in the van. I don't like to open things up because of bugs. So I keep things, just the screen and the door until it gets dark and then I take all that down. Oh, Teddy, here's something. Teddy is such a good watchdog. The night that I had to thump on my van, I wish he would have done something. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He just kind of like sat there shaking like I was. Anyway, yeah, this is, um, you know, the setup that I have uh, in the evening. I sit in my chair. I, you know, if I have Wi-Fi, which I don't have here at this campground. I can't get my Wi-Fi to work. But I kettle my phone. I just sit here and watch movies and stuff, and it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I got a little screen and porch kind of thing going on here. I can see outside, but I'm not out with all the bugs. You know, and I have a chair out here. I'll show you my chair. If I want to sit out here, I can. See? I have a chair. But it's kind of, you know, buggy here at this campground. Probably because it was raining for a couple of days. And... You know, like I told you guys about not bringing pillows. I brought these pillows thinking I would, you know, throw them on my blanket when I'm outside hanging out. I didn't use them. Not one time. They are kind of a nice blocker, though, for, like, the side when I'm sleeping at night. They do work good for that. And then I have this big pillow that Teddy really likes. But it takes up a lot of room. Um, the one pillow that I use is that this lumbar pillow right here and then my sleeping pillow which is underneath of here. Those are my two pillows. I put that one between my legs because I need to have something between my knees and then I sleep. Sometimes I'll put it under my head if I'm watching a movie or something. But um, yeah, you don't need all these pillows, man, because you're in a small space. And then I had this endless summer picture. <laughs> pillow which I basically put there as a decoration and it fits in there and it doesn't take up any space so that's that's okay but yeah you don't need all this crap and this was my first trip so I learned as I went underneath my bed you know I have all my storage everything's under there um, my food is in there my dry container and this is my pots and pans this one is my morning stuff my morning coffee and stuff this is my little pea container <laughs> and my toilet is behind there but I don't have to use it because I'm at a campground and uh, this is the cord that my refrigerator has an extension on it you can see that's my Jackery plugged into the DC cord for my refrigerator and I have this cord this is an extension cord because the cord that came with the fridge didn't run the whole way up to the front of the van so I got this extra cord and then, you know, you have your, underneath my chair here, I have my dog food for Ted. And then I keep a little broom to sweep the, to sweep the van with every day. You don't need no fancy vacuum cleaner either. Everybody says, oh, I have a vacuum for my van. I have a little broom that comes with one of those little, you know, those little trays that you clean up dirt with at home. And that works perfectly. It's just a little broom. You could stick it anywhere. You don't need to carry all this stuff. Then over here, of course, is my lights. These are my, I have a little candle at night. This is my USB lights. Um, I have, I also have these, and these are really bright. Now these I like to use if it's a really dark campground and it's nighttime. You can see how much brighter, that's low. That's medium, that's high. I mean, it's literally like being at home. I don't use those a lot, and sometimes I string them on the back of my van, you know, in the evenings. If I'm at a campsite, like when I was in Florida, I was there for three nights, so I strung them along the back of my, my van. It was pretty cool. But I like having the fairy lights. I have them all around, 
and it's just really nice at night time and then early in the morning to have um, the fairy lights on so my chair is where I sit you know when I want to be in the van and I don't want to be out like at night I don't want to get bit up by mosquitoes because it just seems like I attract the mosquitoes so I sit in here with the screen in and just enjoy the air coming through the screen and Teddy enjoys it as well and we just kind of hang out here and you know I took a walk already with the dog but I drove five hours today so I'm pretty shot I drove straight through from Myrtle Beach to here and I ate when I got here and then I took Teddy for a walk and used the facilities and then I came back here and started to just get ready for relaxation because tomorrow I drive to Delaware um, at noon I leave here and go to Delaware that's four hours so I figured I'd just take it easy tonight here's my dog Teddy's little babies here they are these are his babies see he's very protective of his babies anyway I brought two or three of them with me so that he could have his babies with him but he's been pretty good on the journey so tomorrow I go home and it's kind of like a bittersweet feeling I really am homesick but I'm also I had so much fun I mean I had the time of my life man I enjoyed it so much I would I'm doing it again actually in January I'm going to Arizona and probably visiting California a couple places over there so for a whole month I'm gonna go out west in January of next year um, so yeah I'm gonna do it again I enjoyed it and I'll do some local camping with my kids you know once we get our tent I have a tent but that broke so I couldn't take it with me on my trip which really upset me because I was looking forward to having it as like a little dining canopy and it attaches to the van but um, I didn't take it because it was ripped and the guy was supposed to send me the a new one which he hasn't done yet so anyway I didn't have my tent but next time I go I will have my tent with me and we'll get some more space that way as well you can move some of your stuff out of the van into that tent which is cool but um, anyway guys I made it to North Carolina just in case you were worried about me and I'll see you guys later <laughs>